views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome to the Angels and Answers Psychic Radio Show with Clairvoyance Artie Hoffman and Sky Siegel. Artie is renowned psychic, medium, spiritual life coach, and entertaining motivational speaker. Sky's given talent of inner guidance gives her the ability to interpret feelings and images impressed upon her by the spirit world. Call now for answers from your guardian angels and loved ones at 800 930 2819. And now, here are your hosts, Artie and Sky. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another wonderful week of Angels and Answers. You're with Sky Siegel. Hi, everybody. And Artie Hoffman. And together we are the dynamic duo. Dun, if, I, if I must say so for yes. myself. Yes, we are the dynamic duo. We are we're non-stoppable, guys. We are just non-stoppable when we come to you and we read you. You know, it's funny. He has his own way and his own energy, and I have my own way and my own energy. But together, when we when we collide worlds, we forget have, about it. We have an amazing energy together, and it's a lot of people have benefited from that amazing energy. And we like to say thank you to our um, loyal listeners, and not only our loyal listeners. You have the American native and the Jew, right? And together, we're the Jindian. Ha- right. The Jindian. There you go. We're Jindians. Now I'd like right. to say thank you to my spirit guides for for bringing us together and for making our energy so compatible and so strong. Uh huh. There you go. There As you a go. Force. So it's really good. But um, and my beautiful son too. So. <laughs> so the so the uh, holiday seasons are coming in. Oh yeah. And uh, with it a gets, yeah, and it gets a it gets a little difficult for uh, for some people, but actually for a lot of people. Yes. And uh, you know because you know this is the time when uh, people could be lonely if they don't have someone. In yeah, regards, this is lonely season. Yeah. For those who don't have large could, families or anybody for that matter. You know, it could be a very festive season, very festive time. You know, a lot of people they get together, they look forward to this time of year. It's their favorite time of year. Because it finally gives people a chance to uh, stop and visit, to stop and visit each other, right? Whether it be friends and family and stuff like that. And I'm sorry if I seem so stuffy. My God, my He's nose allergic. is allergic. So He's got like a ton of allergies. I, I think. I don't I, it's know. It's not a cold. You're not sick. You're not sick. No, I know I'm not sick, but I'm still waiting for you to get me those meds that you promised <sighs> me weeks ago. I forgot. Weeks ago, you probably yeah. They're me. all holistic. They're all holistic. They're all holistic. Yes. So, um, you know, anybody could get them. Yeah, the oils and, and yeah. whatnot. That... And that, if you would just put them in, you know, like a hot pot and start breathing them in, that'll open you all up. Yeah, a shot of JD want to help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did I forget that part? <laughs> I got news for you. My favorite drink in the whole world is Fireball. It's the cinnamon Are you sick? whiskey. I that, love it. You, you can get very sick from those. What are you Nauseous, talking about? Nauseous. I have a, I have like a shot. That's it. Oh, he's That's a it. lightweight. I'm, I'm a lightweight, you know. I'm not, I didn't know. I'm not used to. I'm not Irish. I'm Jewish. <laughs> I have a part of the ish, but but you know, it's the not first the right-ish. part that I don't have. That's yeah. what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, he's a lightweight, yeah. folks. You know. No, but uh, you know what? It is. It could be very difficult. Uh, they're delicious. The What's that? They're delicious. The fireball. Oh yeah, they're it's phenomenal. When my fr- I'll, I had it was a love affair as soon as I tasted it. It, it was awesome, I'm telling you. It went down yeah, so good. smooth. They're good. So but smooth. You can't drink like four or five of them. They make you nauseous. Well, everybody to each his own. Oh, that's true. Yeah, to each his own. You know. Yeah. But I'm not a big drinker. Though, I like Jack know? Daniels. Like you want to know Jack something? Daniels. The best, the best kind of you know, the best business to be in yes. is, I. It, well, actually, I think it's the worst and the best. And I'm going to tell you why. It's owning a bar. Mm. With a bar, you're going to drink because you're celebrating. And with a bar, you're going to drink your sorrows away. Yeah, but you know what? Like anything else, Artie, when you do Artie. it every single day. It's not Artie. Artie. I'm, 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 everyone else calls me Artie. I'm Artie around here. It's like, you should be used to I it. think it's a party Between German name, Artie. Artie. Otto. Otto. Go ahead. When, when, you, when you're around something every day, it doesn't become as appealing. And you get sick of it. What are you talking about? Your spouse? No. <laughs> besides him. <laughs> 
No. What are you talking about? When you're a bartender or you own a bar, you're around alcohol 24-7. You're around alcohol more than you'd like to be. So it becomes like, not like, oh, I need to drink or I have to drink or this, that, and the other thing. It becomes like, I'm tired of it. I'm sick of it already. I'm not going to drink. It's like anything else. No, I'm saying when you're the where the, when you're the owner. That's what I'm saying. When you're the owner, it's about business. What I was saying, it's not about hanging out there and drinking your own, your own. Uh, yeah, you, like, you're not there drinking your own profits away. I'm talking That's about another thing. You yeah, are. no, I'm talking about you know you have your regular patrons and you know who come in. Oh, I thought oh this is really cool. My mind is always going at 20 million miles a minute. So no, here I am. Kidding. I'm going to Rhode Island. Yeah. Right? I'm driving to Rhode Island, and I and I pulled over to uh, Northern Connecticut. Yeah. And there was this uh, there was this one bar uh, I pulled into because I just wanted to grab was it a name Cheers. Uh, yeah, I wish. <laughs> no, that's in Massachusetts. But Same uh, thing. so I'm in Connecticut. I'm in Connecticut. And, yeah, yeah. And I pull over to the side of the road because I needed to use the bathroom, and uh, and I, there was just there was like no stores around except this one bar right off the road. And so it was it was a boring name. You know, I'll give you an example. Like just suppose yes. the name was Ford's that I forgot the name of the town, but okay. just say it was Ford's. So it just said Ford's liquor store. That's it. Yeah. And so I get my drink. Mm -hmm. right? It was like a soda or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I get my drink. I get my uh, uh, my little uh, peanuts and whatnot. And right before I left, you know, there was a couple guys just standing there by themselves behind the counter. And I stopped and I turned around and I said, I got a really good name for your bar. I said, your bar name is like, uh, your liquor store is boring. <laughs> I can't believe he said Wait. things like that to and so, and so I said to him, yeah. I said, you should call this one, One for the Road. Huh, that's the that's name. Cute. That's the name. That was should be. And I said, I think that's a great name, One for the Road. Did they change it? No. <laughs> How do I know? I yeah, just right. went in there for a moment. That was it. You know? well, now you should go on the telephone so you can find One for the Road. So I thought that I thought that was that a was cute. Name. That's a cute name, actually. And you know, and so during the holiday season, you a always lot, have those thoughts. I do, I do. When you give me a business, that's one of my fortes. I have very creative angels. Yes, you when do. you give me a business, and you 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 know, a lot of people will come up to me and say, you know, I'm looking for a catchphrase, or I'm looking for the name of my business. You know, can you help me out? And mm -hmm. usually, while I'm talking to them or counseling them or whatnot. Comes All of a sudden, it will come up like a really clever name for, for anything. It's very cool. And I love it. I've been doing that like since forever. So I like that. I like when that happens. That is nice. I like that too. But uh, there's a lot of stress around the holiday season oh, because please. people, you know, with the monies, if they don't have the monies and they That's feel obligated, it becomes definitely much more of a material aspect rather that, than you know, from a spiritual point of view. It's so true. <clears throat> because the other day I was talking to my daughter and, you know, these kids... It, it, the country is in such a shape where the kids are just making it. They're paying their bills. They're paying their taxes. They're paying their house taxes. They're just being able to put food on the table. Maybe $100 a month to Zach in the bank, God forbid, money. And they don't have a penny left over for anything as a luxury. And, you know, when my husband and I see that, like sometimes we'll take them out for dinner or sometimes just to get them the heck out of the, out of the house and just to, just to give them a little bit of something. And... She was talking with me the other day, and I said to her, Jen, I said, don't go nuts for the holidays. I said, there's nothing that I don't have. And if I want something, I will go out and get it when I want it. I said, you know, I know that the holiday seasons force us to go and purchase these gifts that mean, I mean, it's nice. It Don't get me wrong, but it's you, a useless purchase. Hold it. You gave, me, you gave me a good idea about something. Yes. Now, if you go out. And like, all right, suppose you don't have much money you don't. and suppose, you know, even if you spend, you know, say 15, $25, whatever, whatever, it doesn't have to be a hundred, $200, yeah, but, you time that by but let me finish my thought. Go ahead. So what I wanted to say was if you just think of what that person likes, what they absolutely love, it could be Starbucks, They're, go to their favorite store, uh, get them, uh, Get them movies, right. uh, movie tickets, you know, m movie and maybe a dinner or, you know, uh, $30 towards dinner and, uh, you know, $30 towards movie tickets, you know, but, but just something clever. But if you, if you, you know, cause sometimes you don't know exactly what they like to purchase, you know, it's like within right. the store, but you know, it's their favorite store. So it's easier just to get them. I get that, but the, you're, you're missing the point here. The point is. When you have, you come from a family, 
and you have four brothers and sisters, and they have four spouses, and then they have that's where you do the grab kids. bag. That's where you do the grab Gee bag. Whiz, thing. It becomes extremely expensive. No, that's the when holiday. you do it. That's even when you do a sick. fun grab bag. Yeah, well, even you can buy sick. one present for the adults. Yeah. The kids are a given. Oh yeah. The kids are a given. And that's what it should be, all about right. the children. Right. So I told my daughter, getting back to that Your story, daughter? My daughter. I said to her, you know She what? has a daughter. I have a daughter. She has a few daughters. <laughs> I said to her, why don't you just give me a really nice picture of the kids, because she always takes them for Santa pictures and stuff. So she usually takes a nice picture of the children. I said, buy me a picture frame in the dollar store, and go ahead and get me uh, a nice picture of the children, and put it in that picture store frame from the dollar store and it's way more than I would want. Perfect. Perfect gift. And you don't have to worry about offending me by giving me nothing and you don't have to spend so much money and hurt your pocket because you know it's so funny. I believe that Christmas started out to be a holiday because of the time. The elements of daylight and darkness. Now listen to me out. Okay. Well, wait, I'm going to hear yeah, you out right, in just a moment. A All right, everybody. Well, listen, Sky and I, we're going to be talking some more uh, holiday talk. So stick around because we're going to be right back right after this commercial break. We will. show talk radio to thrive by i am so thrilled to be talking to all of you we have got talk radio for all of us are you ready and willing and able to accept all of the abundance you can muster up in your life yeah. check us out the drpatcho.com transformation talk radio.com transformation radio.fm oh my goodness when your body is awakened, your spirit comes alive. Dana Canetto is a transformational guide, embodiment coach, and spiritual mentor assisting women in realigning with their truth and embodying who they are by connecting to the wisdom of their body. Tune in every month on Transformation Talk Radio and the Dr. Pat Show Network for Body Divinity Radio with Dana Canetto. For more information on Dana and her services, visit danacanetto.com. That's D-A-N-A-C-A-N-N-E-T-O.com. Tune in to the Angels and Answer Psychic Radio Show with Clairvoyance Artie Hoffman and Sky Siegel every Thursday for a two-hour show, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio. Artie and Sky deliver spiritual and motivational messages with passion and a sense of humor. Call in 800-930-2819 for live and on-air readings. Visit ArtieHoffman.com and SkyOfAngels.com. How would you like to release your stress and let go of your anxiety, fear, depression, or even physical pain? How would you like to feel more relaxed, more confident, and experience more success in all areas of your life? Dave Dodge from Stress Buster Radio has a number of cutting-edge methods that will help you do just that. For more information on how Dave can help you release stress, visit StressBusterRadio.com. Skype and phone sessions available. Have you wanted to make more money without working harder or more? Maybe you've tried new ways to bring in extra income without success. Hi, my name is Deb Acker, and in addition to being the host of Truth Talk Radio, I'm an intuitive life coach and energy healer. I clear energy blocks to all areas of life, including abundance. Did you know many times we have an invisible income ceiling? So no matter what we do, our income never goes up, or if our income does go up, we experience an unexpected expense that negates this. How much would it be worth to significantly increase your income or even have unexpected income show up? When I was in the corporate world, I used these techniques to increase my income by tens of thousands of dollars without changing my work routine. In fact, I worked even less, and I now help clients do the same. If this resonates for you and you're truly ready for abundance in your life, I'd love to gift you with my pattern identification session. Simply contact me on the contact page of my website, deborahacker.com. That's D-E-B-O-R-A-H-A-C-K-E-R.com. And let me know you heard about this gift through Transformation Talk Radio. I look forward to connecting soon. All right, so what welcome, were you just, everybody. No, yeah, welcome back. So what were you just talking about in regards to... Oh, yeah. I was just saying before the commercial, I believe that the holiday season originated 
with the time difference of the light, the light element, the light differential. Don't forget, when the summertime comes, it's light a lot. It, it is. It stays light till eventually 9 o'clock at night. Yeah, in the Thursday. summertime. Yes, in the summertime. In some countries, yeah. it's 24 hours. Right, right. In Alaska. <laughs> well, anyway. In 23 hours. It's true. It's unbelievable. But when you think of the wintertime and it starts to get dark at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, yeah. you know, people are jumping out of windows because of light deprivation. Think of the holidays. What do you do? The first thing you do. Many people, most people with kids, they put lights on their houses. Boom. There you go. You have light. So the dark is now buffered by the lights on the houses. So you don't mind looking forward to five o'clock when it's dark as midnight and there's pretty lights on the houses because you feel refreshed, you feel happy because you see the colored lights. So I believe that a lot of this traditional things that we celebrate during the holiday season are actually our ways of creativity to help us through the light deprivation, the season of light deprivation. I do. Um, I find, and I and I think a majority of the people agree with me. I find it very obnoxious and and irritating mm-hmm. that Thanksgiving hasn't even come, and they start um, oh, advertising okay. for Christmas. I know. And all that. I mean, they totally jump the gun, oh, and you I... take away the the element and the passion and the anticipation, and they're already already like celebrating, uh, putting Christmas stuff Could out like imagine? two weeks before Thanksgiving I and know, stuff it, like that. You know, it really, it, it, our lives go by fast enough. Why push it? What, for a buck? Come on. I don't it's like it It's very frustrating. I it's like very, it very frustrating. When I like to enjoy each season and each holiday for itself, and I cannot stand when or two two weeks before uh, Thanksgiving, I'm I'm thinking of Christmas ornaments and seeing Christmas things in the stores. It's ridiculous, ridiculous, and it irks me because they're forcing us to hurry up with our lives. Our lives are so quick to begin with. We're always rushing to do something. Yeah. Leave us be. Let us enjoy. Let us bask. In one thing at a time. Yeah, the media Ugh, and the please. the corporate America and the media it's, it's is so unfair. It's very unfair, and uh, like I said, you know, some people um, it stresses them out to the nines about trying to keep up with the Joneses. Uh, who do we get for what? But over the years, I've noticed more and more families, more and more uh, businesses have been doing, you know, when they go for their office parties and whatnot, yes. have been doing the grab bag thing and yeah. all kinds of stuff oh, like that. I don't mean to interrupt so. you, but I have to tell you, you're going to love this. Go ahead. There is a new movie coming out. I think Friday, next Friday. Is it The is Grinch? It? No, no. Okay. It's called Office Party. And there's a lot of really good people. In oh, really? It. Yes. It's hysterical. I saw The Coming Attraction. Oh, yeah. I thought I got to tell Audie about this. Oh, you're cool. Love it. cool. He's a movie buff. He yeah. likes movies. I do. I haven't seen movies in a long time. I uh, just went like maybe a couple weeks. First one in like phew, maybe about, I don't know, 10 months. It's And really? I used to go all the I time. Know. I used to go like you're two, big. three. I used to go two, three times a week. I know. And uh, that, was know. My, that was my choice of entertainment forever. And right now, life took over. Um, you're a busy man. I'm a Charlie busy man. Brown. Thank God. Thank God. Yes. Thank God is right. But, you know, um, if anybody wants to get a reading, a uh, personal reading from Sky, whether it be in person in Cream Ridge, New Jersey, or if you want to have a party, or if you want to even get a telephone reading. Or a Skype uh, reading. Or a Skype reading. Your number is? 908-500-1474. And just want you to know that Sky has been reading for, or been seeing people, dead people, and reading for what, 55 years? Yes, let's keep it there. Yeah, <laughs> around 55 years, give or take 12. <laughs> no. I have just punched them twice. Yeah. So, um, and for myself, it's 877 Angel 02 if you wish to get a private reading. Uh, also, uh, check out um, our Facebook. Check out my YouTube, our website, our website. My, oh, yeah. yeah, my website is artiehoffman.com, a r t i e h o f f m a n dot com, and uh, yeah, I think you'll get a kick out of my YouTube's and stuff. Oh, I think so too. Yeah, mine too. You know, folks, I do a, a Facebook YouTube, a Facebook um, video, a video Facebook. Okay. 
on Sundays at 8 o'clock, every Sunday at 8 o'clock. We started last week. It was a tremendous success. Um, I got to connect with a lot of great people. Everybody was very happy and everybody was very excited. So tune in to my Facebook video every Sunday at 8 o'clock. So yeah, so, um, yeah, and then Sunday. I also, right, Sunday's 8 o'clock for Sky and me. It's Sunday's at 9 o'clock, uh, Facebook Live, and that's Artie Hoffman. And uh, your Facebook Live is? 8 o'clock. No, but what's oh, the Sky name? Oh, Sky Siegel. Sky Siegel. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so that's that for Sunday's. And uh, we, we allow one free question. Yes. But if anybody tries to ask us more than one free question, we are not answering it. We only we answer can't, folks. one free question. This isn't a full reading. Right. You know, so we And can, there's so many people out there. And there's so there many people. And it goes, do, 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 do. I yeah. mean, it rattles off so fast so with quickly. so many questions. You know, it's going to drive us to drink. <laughs> yes, a little bit more than coffee. Well, anyway, what happens is, folks, you don't, you don't see what's behind the scenes. So what happens is we're getting every second, we're getting three people sending us a message. So then our, our assistant who is wet with us, we can't even do it alone. It's so it's so chaotic. So our assistant goes back, rolls back, and tries to pick up a new person each time so I can read them and he could read them. And what happens is if you keep bombing us with questions over and over again, then the other people who are calling in don't get the opportunity to ask their questions. But like Artie said, we're going to be doing this every Sunday, me at 8, him at 9. So you can call back the following week if you have a dire question that you need answered. And during the week, if you want to jot a few questions down, you can do that and then choose the one that's most important to you on Sunday and then hit us with that. But have a little uh, respect for your uh, fellow believers and let them have a chance because they're as important as you are. And we're more us. than happy to answer you also oh, yeah. when you call into this show too. Yes. And so when you call into this show that, you know, we're able to, you know, give a, a dual reading in a sense. And, uh, you know, we'll answer uh, one question also on this show. So, and uh, if there's ever any topics that you wish to talk about, we're more than happy to, you know, reach out. Oh, and I wanted to thank everybody on my Facebook. I wanted to thank everybody. I put... Uh, a, um, a message out there to all my uh, spiritual friends out there, all my uh, angels out there, earth angels, and put word out to Donna Salimino, Salino, yeah, Salamino, Salamino. Uh, I always get her na last name screwed up. It's some Italian name uh, from Long Island. Mm -hmm. So anyway, everyone put their energy out there, and she was going for surgery, and everything came out perfect. Beautiful. There was absolutely oh, no problem. Oh, glad to hear that. Yeah. So it went super, super smooth. So uh, I just wanted to thank you very much for all the beautiful energy. And, uh, you know, people, you know, during their uh, time of uh, the holiday season, you know, a lot of people say, well, what should we do? What should we do? And, uh, you know, when you're feeling a little down and out, if you reach out to people who you haven't spoken to in a long time, whether it be friends or relatives, that's a lot of fun. You know, if you go to visit people, uh, it could be at a, you know, a volunteer yourself, maybe at a, at a food pantry, you know, that would help going, uh, going to the gym, going for long walks, um, you know, playing music that you personally love to listen to treat yourself to a wonderful yeah, Christmas give yourself a gift. Give yourself a wonderful gift. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, it won't be a surprise unless if you get it while you're drunk, you might yeah. not remember. No, because you know what? Sometimes you say, oh, I really love those boots, but they're a little expensive. Ah, forget about it. I'll just wait. Well, what are you waiting for? This is the time that you're waiting for. This is a time that you can have those boots and go to the mall and strut them out. You know what we like to do sometimes? You know, we've never, my husband and I have never had a holiday where there hasn't been a million people involved. Except this Thanksgiving. This Thanksgiving, it was just him and I totally alone because I had something wrong with my stomach and I didn't want to infringe on the children. So him and I stayed home by ourselves. We just, we didn't eat, we didn't go out for supper or whatnot. <clears throat> but what we did actually was later on in the day, I was feeling a little bit better. So we went out for a bite and then we came home. We didn't go at anybody's house. We didn't have any company. It was totally him and I. 
And it wasn't as bad as I thought. You know, it was the only thing that really got me a little is knowing that the kids were all having a blast and I was stuck home with my husband. Uh, <laughs> Not that it's a bad thing, but it's like a usual thing. Right. It didn't, uh, you know, there was no like looking forward to the holiday. But this year for Christmas, everybody's coming to my house oh, for good. the two days. Oh, very so nice. So that should make up, well make up for the loss of Thanksgiving. And it, it, I didn't even feel like it was the loss, folks. The week prior to Thanksgiving, I had made a big turkey dinner for the kids. I made a nice turkey dinner because I knew that we weren't going to be together for Thanksgiving. I don't know how I knew it. I just did. So I said, you know what? Let me get it over with and do it. So I did. I made the whole, all the trimmings, invited the children. Everything was very nice. <clears throat> so I don't feel like I really missed out on Thanksgiving. It's just that I had a very quiet day. It was quiet on the phone. It was quiet in around my house. And it's going to be quiet right now because we've got to go to a commercial <laughs> break. So listen up, everybody. Sky and I, we're going to be right back right okay. after this commercial break. Yeah. Sky Siegel co-hosts one of today's most popular psychic shows, Angels and Answers, with Artie Hoffman as she communicates healing messages from the spirit world. These messages can be astounding, enlightening, and life-changing. Born with the God-given talent of inner guidance and the amazing ability to heal, Sky has healed thousands of people. Schedule a reading with Sky now. Call 908-500-1474 and visit skyofangels.com. Tune in to The Michael Shane Show the third Tuesday of each month at 11 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com and connect with the ascended beings to raise your vibration and manifest the life you desire. Get ready to receive healing through the transphysical mediumship of Reverend Michael Shane and the ascended beings. Visit MichaelShane.com. That's M-Y-C-H-A-E-L, Shane.com, and call 425-971-6632 to schedule your full healing session now. Tune in to Mainstream Metaphysics Radio to harness your connection with the universe to effect change for optimal success and happiness. Name one of the country's top psychics. Eve now brings her insights and gifts to this weekly hit call-in show. Joined by visionaries, leaders, and gifted others, but mostly you. Jot it down. Thursdays, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. A word of caution, if you prefer the status quo and you are not interested in improving every aspect of your life, this book will trigger the shift out of you. The Truth is Funny, Shift Happens is available now. Author Colette Steffen brings the powerful knowledge and life-changing energy and empowerment from the radio airwaves to the pages of her new book. To get your copy in paperback or ebook, visit thetruthisfunny.com today. If you're one of the millions of Americans suffering from anxiety, you probably know how powerless and out of control this emotion can make you feel. This is why it is so important to remember that anxiety is created by your mind, which means that you can learn to use your mind to uncreate it. Hello, my name is Dr. Friedman Schaub. My award-winning book, The Fear and Anxiety Solution, provides you with a step-by-step -step breakthrough process to understand and resolve the root causes of your anxiety and build a solid foundation of confidence and inner peace. If you are ready to take your power back, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com. Order your copy of Dr. Friedemann Schaub's The Fear and Anxiety Solution today. Visit thefearandanxietysolution.com for more information. Back everybody to Angels and Answers with Audie Hoffman and Sky Siegel. I want to take this opportunity to give a shout out to a friend of mine who is listening very closely. He is one of the finest, most dignified people that I absolutely know, and his name is Brian. 
and he's a dear friend of both of ours, and he is all the way in Rhode Island. A.K.A. The Hammer. The Hammer. The Hammer. Come on, That's Hammer. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, baby, The Hammer. The and top Rhode, Rhode Island DJ of all yes, time. Yes, he's phenomenal. He's a great producer. He's a great DJ. And Enthusiastic. Oh, I miss him. I miss him. I miss him. He's terrific. He was one of our greatest, greatest producers. Yeah. So, <laughs> uh, listen. So, I just hi, thought, babe. Wait, so... So I just thought of a great idea. I yeah. thought of a great idea. So if anybody wants to give somebody a really, really good personalized special gift. Give them a reading. Give them a reading. Oh exactly. my God, I read your mind. Oh my God, <laughs> you're good. Right. Okay. Give, yeah, you can give them a, a gift certificate for the holidays Absolutely. if you want If you want a reading from Sky or myself. That's a real nice gift. And uh, it's very personable. and Creative. Uh, creative. And you could record it and uh, or we'll record it. It's and the gift that e keeps on giving. Right. Even if it's over the phone, you can get a recording. Yeah. So uh, it's really cool. So it would be a really good gift to uh, give to your loved ones. And people have done that time and time and time again uh, through me. And uh, let's see. Well, yeah. I'll tell you what. What? Um, if you purchase a, a holiday um, gift reading. card reading. Yeah. So what do you think about if they were to take $25 off Ooh. I think that's for an idea. hour? $25 off just for the month of December if you gift your reading to somebody else. And we will send you a little gift card. That's right. Because, and you know, with this way, your your loved one has a formal little gift card stating the date and the time that the reading is for. Does it? That would be very good. That would be very good. And you could pay by uh, credit card yeah. uh, over the phone, and it's not a big deal. Right. So we got it all, it seems. That's nice. That's a very nice yeah. gesture. So again, um, so another great idea is if you got if if you went away, if you went away on a little mini vacation. You must have eat your ate your Wheaties today. Why is it? You're chock full of ideas. Oh my god! I'm telling <laughs> you. No, because this is all about this is all about you know um, taking care of yourself and taking care of your friends and yeah. taking care of your family. And you know what's another great gift? If you gave them a gift certificate saying, I owe you one night to take care of the kids while uh, you and your husband go away for an evening. That's a nice gift. You know, too. or you go away for the weekend. Yeah. You know, that would be another great gift also. How nice that is. Yeah. That's a great idea. So you give them that. Give them that night out. <laughs> That's a um, great idea. They have to pay for their own dinner. You're just <laughs> taking yeah, care of... Yeah, you're a babysitter. Yeah, you're taking care of the munchkins, right. the monkeys, yeah. whatever you want to call them. Hey, little munchkins. You know, there you go. Yes, I like that idea extremely. I think I'm going to give that to the kids in this, like a stocking stuffer. That's you know, a great stocking stuffer. Also, if you have... If there's something special that you do personally, like suppose you're very artistic and you want to give each person, say, a picture of whoever, whether it be their pets, whether it be their kids, That's a nice idea. Uh, whether it be, uh, suppose, I don't know, whatever work you do, you could be a landscaper, you, you'll give them a free this or that a in regard to whatever, a free, right. right. Um, if you wanted to, you know, like I said, whatever uh, specialty that you do that you can offer to other people, it doesn't have to cost you money, it will just take you a little time. And that's it. So I think that would be a really good idea. I think so. Offering too. your time and services where other people could benefit. And you know something? That is a really personable gift as well because a lot of people do, um, you know, like the things that you do. I know they love what I do. So I know that to them, if I gave them, a, let's say, an hour reading or a half hour reading, they would be very appreciative. Oh, extremely. Yeah, extremely. that's great. Because, you know, we give. Um, uh, emotional balance to people. We give oh, yeah. emotional comfort to people. You know what I've noticed what? about myself that what? I've been really people have been asking me about their health a lot, and uh, really? I've been able to like zero in, uh, like yeah. in detail, and um, and I tell everybody I said, look, I did not go to Yale. Right. He's All right. Him. He's not a doctor. I did not go to Dartmouth. I did not go to <laughs> Yale, Harvard, any of those schools. But yet, yeah, he I, went to the school of hard enough. There you go. And yet, I've been getting these messages specifically, and Sky does the same thing, where we get these specific 
messages on what's going on with somebody. Yeah. And it doesn't even have to be you. It could be your relative or your friend or whatever. So when you're putting your energy towards that person, we're able to zero in and say what's going on. And yes. it amazes me that, that like all of a sudden the answers just come into my thoughts and it's like, wow, how cool is that? You know? Yeah. It happens a lot. What have I been focusing on a lot lately? Because there has been some, oh, I'd like to tell the audience what I went through the other day, right? You that went was, through your pocketbook? No, what did you go through? I went through my husband's pockets. I there, gave there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was watching television the other, the other day. It was like in the afternoon. I had nothing to do, which is extremely rare for me anyway. I was like by myself. I was great. And I was just watching a little bit of uh, television. I have the movie channel, so I'm watching the movie. And I'm watching the television, and I see my dog, Weezer, sitting on my left side. And on my right side, I see Weezer again climbing up on the couch. And I said, I looked over at Weezer, and I said, no, that's Weezer over there. Who's that? Literally, my dog, Harley, I was able to see him with my eyes. Now, mind you, Harley passed away how many months ago? Uh, no, uh, um, August 19th. August 19th. Of this year. So you saw Harley. I saw Harley climbing up on the lounging section of my couch, and I didn't want to give it my full vision, so I kept it in my peripheral vision. And I put my hand out to try and touch what I was seeing, and my hand just went through the air like there was nothing there. But yet I could still see him climbing up on the couch, and literally I turned to it, I turned to the vision, and it was gone. Yeah. That's what sucks. Ah! I don't know. I don't. It, it, it amazes me. Yeah, a lot of times people say, oh, I've seen a shadow, or oh, I saw somebody, yeah. and they were just walking by. And then you'll call out to your kid or I to your so spouse, happy. Yeah, and you, you know, and they say, hey, you know, and, uh, and, and then it's like, you know, all of a sudden they're walking through the front door. And it's like, I thought you just walked right by. He says, right. no, I, I was outside. I just came in. I just... And it's like, wow, you know, it's like, so a lot of times these spirits make themselves known. Oh, without a doubt. And you don't even I, realize they're spirits sometimes. You, know, you just so, assume that, you know, Audie, they're people, I, people. I wasn't thinking of him. Right. He was the furthest thing from my mind. And seeing that vision of him, I wasn't even, I, I wasn't even, all right, I was a bad mommy. I wasn't even thinking about him, to be honest with you. And there he was climbing up on the couch. It was such a magnificent gift. I was so grateful to my spirits. And I want to thank them all for being so kind and loving and gentle to me and for letting me have the ability to see this. You know, I, so I said, I can't say just thank you and let it go, right, folks? I've got to say, and if I could see my dog, why is my son? Where is my son? Because my son had passed away a few years ago. And I and Hold it. I just got an answer for you. Oh, okay. All right. Before, you know, you were saying, how come I don't see my son? You feel your son, but you yes. don't see him or, yeah. you, you know, you... Except for that a one shadow moment. shadow or... Right. Yeah. And But you were able to see your dog yeah, and stuff like clearly. that. clearly. Because, see, your son is on your mind 24-7. So you're always yeah. thinking of him, thinking of him, thinking of him. Yeah, yeah. All right. And so, but with your dog, you just said, but I wasn't even thinking about it because your guards were down. Nothing, you know, it wasn't even a thought. Yeah. So it's like when your guards are down, you're, you're just letting things to be, that's when they pull through. But when you are obsessed... In the sense, and I know I don't say that in a bad way. No, with I know this, how you say it. I but know. you know, but when you are really, oh, I want to see him. I want to see him. When you're trying, it's never going to happen. While you're trying, it's just when you just are. When you are just being in the moment, and I feel that's when spirit will just appear. And yeah. why it works only like that, who knows? It's very frustrating for everybody, and right. we're psychics and mediums ourselves, and it's very frustrating. I mean, I just can't think of somebody and conjure them up. I just can't do that. It's way beyond me. I mean, I can't conjure up a vision of someone. I got to say something very interesting because uh, I've had a lot of wonderful major experiences happen to me this week. You certainly and so, did. Yeah. Oh, I'm supposed to rub your head. There you go. That's right. <laughs> Thank Pick you. up the good luck, right? The good yes. money, good luck. Yes. So really quickly, what happened was, um, you know, I was having a, a discussion with my girlfriend and uh, she said to me, Artie, how come your mother never visits you? Because oh, my mother does. might know, but she never like makes herself appear. She meaning like that, like oh, you know, like I saw uh, uh, La Harley, yeah. So my mother is never. I've actually never seen her. Seen her in my dream mm -hmm. for a moment, but it's it was a bad. It, to me, it wasn't a, a pleasant dream, but it was a dream. And so, okay. So what happened was, 
she said, how come your mom does it? And I said, but she visits me all the time because I get signs all the time. So I just got a call from my assistant uh, to go check up on a job because I also have a window cleaning power washing business that I do on the side. And so all of a sudden I get a call from my assistant. And she says, I want you to go see this person and give her an estimate for her windows. It just so happens that this lady's name was Edith. And that was my mother's name. So here she's saying, how come your mother never visits you? I said, well, she does visit me in the way of signs. And I acknowledge that. And a lot of times I will see her birthday appear all the time, which is 1221, December 21st. So I'll see that number appear on a digital clock or I'll see it on a license plate or just wherever, you know, and uh, that's just my mom's constant reminder that she's around, which is really, really cool. As a matter of fact, uh, I just played that number this week, assuming that uh, it's going to come out. It's got to come out. <laughs> All right, everybody, listen, stick around. Uh, Sky and I, we're going to be right back right after this commercial break. Artie Hoffman is the hottest psychic with the warmest heart and the host of the hit show Angels and Answers. A renowned psychic, medium, spiritual life coach, and an entertaining motivational speaker, Artie has helped over 15,000 people with his amazing intuitive gifts, his passion, and his humor. Call 877-ANGEL-02 to schedule a personal reading or to have your own psychic Artie party. That's 877-ANGEL-02. And visit ArtieHoffman.com and Angels and Answers on Facebook. A word of caution, if you prefer the status quo and you are not interested in improving every aspect of your life, this book will trigger the shift out of you. The Truth is Funny, Shift Happens is available now. Author Colette Steffen brings the powerful knowledge and life-changing energy and empowerment from the radio airwaves to the pages of her new book. To get your copy in paperback or ebook, visit thetruthisfunny.com today. Are you searching? Are you searching? Looking for a sign? A message you need to hear? From the great unknown? From the most mysterious place? That is the most familiar to your soul? In the depths of who you are? The universe puts someone here to talk to. Someone God gave a blessing to. That you may find insight with. TheAngelLady.net. 1-800-323-1790. 1-800-323-1790. Are you ready for a game changer? Sarah Westall is bringing you Business Game Changers Radio. Sarah brings you leading experts, visionaries, and newsmakers who provide the best commentary on big issues and cutting-edge innovations. Sarah's 20 years as a business executive will help you think like an entrepreneur with expertise, energy, and attitude. Tune in to Business Game Changers Mondays at noon Pacific, 3 Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Do you know how to achieve wellness in all areas of your life? Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. Signs of wellness are a capacity to love and ability to nurture, a sense of purpose, a good sense of humor and plenty of fun in your life, a concern for others and a respect for the environment, a conscious commitment to personal excellence, a sense of balance and integrated lifestyle, and capacity to cope with whatever life presents. Well, people enjoy their lives and want them to last as long as possible. That's why the wellness mindset usually accompanies other constructive, healthy lifestyle habits. By adopting a wellness mindset and behaviors like eating well, taking the right nutrition for the body, exercising, and saying affirmations are just a few things to structure a healthy system of values and beliefs. I will be your wellness coach to help you achieve a wellness lifestyle. Call us at 888-777-4232. That's 888-777-4232. And visit us at maryjanemack.com. Welcome back, everybody, to Angels and Answers with Artie Hoffman and Sky Siegel. If you'd like to get a reading with the amazing Artie Hoffman, who is a Facebook sensation and an amazing reader. Oh, stop it. I know. Stop it. I love it. Continue. Ahead, continue. <laughs> His number is 877-ANGEL-02 for an amazing reading with Artie. And he has an amazing Facebook page, too. It's very enlightening. I thought you were going to tell me I have an amazing face. <laughs> 
wouldn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> so go ahead. He's got a great Facebook page. He's also got a, a wonderful um, email that you can email him to. Why don't you give yeah, Artie back? Hoffman at Gmail. So if you want to get, you know, set up for a, a private reading over the phone or in person, right. I'm in Woodbridge, New Jersey. And for Sky, it's 908 500 1474. And her too, she, her too. She is uh, on Sunday nights at eight o'clock for her Facebook Live, as mine is Sunday nights nine o'clock Facebook Live. So check us out. And what's your website? My website is Sky of Angels. All right. And you don't have to have a .com or anything. Just go right straight to Sky of Angels. That's very cool. Yeah. So our topic again is about you know learning how to deal with the uh, holidays, and you know it's also about being very creative. So, um, yeah, it is. And you know what? A lot of people get stressed out because everybody's under time constraints. And money constraints. And money constraints. You have to run to work. You have to come home. Everything remains the same. Your daily chores, your daily duties. Then you have to find the time to go food shopping, do your laundry, and go Christmas shopping. And here's another one. Wrapping the present. Yeah. Oh, it's a nightmare at my house. Oh, Wrapping this, gifts. This Guys. was this was so funny. <sighs> I was in a store. I'll never forget this. I was in North Jersey. Yeah. And I was at a very I was in the mall during a very busy time of the holiday season. And I was on the staircase and I'm looking down at, you know, um, the you know, just the people down below. Yeah. And there was a, a lady there. And she had she had an accent. She had a beautiful accent. And she goes like this. She goes, I can't believe it. And she could tell she was under a lot of stress. And she goes, I can't believe it. I'm the one who's under stress. I'm the one who's who's spending all the money. And some fat jolly fella gets all the credit. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> some fat jolly fella who's awful old. <laughs> I'm telling you. Do you know that uh, Santa Claus was originally uh, was Germany. was originated in Germany? Yes, I and do he know was that. very skinny. Really? He was he was a skinny Santa. No yeah, kidding. and it wasn't until uh, some nice dude uh, who, <laughs> who brought him over to America there was uh, plumped him up. Yeah, plumped him up. Uh, there was an artist, uh, a sketch an artist uh, who created Santa to be more Charlie and yeah, round. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, warm, loving, and yeah. made him a heavier set yeah. dude. And uh, well, what does that yeah. tell you, folks? That that's where it's at. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> In the land of love. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, you know what it is, too? People who are a little like, you know, you relate to chubby people as being happy and chubby people as being jolly. And I don't know why, because when I was fat, I was not either one, not happy nor jolly. <laughs> <laughs> I was miserable. Yeah. I couldn't even walk. But no, uh, you know, so. You know what it is? You know what Santa? You think you know the big warm bear hugs yes. and that loving sense and, and that stuff like that. And that little red cheeks. How cute is that? Yeah. Those are the red you know, cheeks. it's interesting because every year people seem to get or or the companies or whatever become more clever in Christmas decorations. Like every yes. year, you know there's the different colors. One? You know who there's, the number one is? What? The number one. Number one in what? Number one company for di displaying the cutest Santa things? Coca-Cola. Really? Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. They're so original. They're so innovative. Coca-Cola ads, they're crazy. Remember the polar bears? Yeah. Coca-Cola. Yeah. The cute Santa in the sleigh with the big red cheeks, yeah. so fuzzy and cuddly, Coca-Cola. Yeah. Yeah. They're That's fun. great. Yeah. No, but it's really interesting how people, oh, you know, there's different, there's different uh, styles of um, decorating. There's different uh, color uh, yes. coordination. And then all of a sudden there was a year where everyone was hanging icicles from, yes. their, from their gutters. And then now last year's the dot. Th then it's like shining the dots from your, from your lawn yes. to your house. Like you have Christmas lights on. All I over put your 11 house. of those is... lights last year. Oh my God. The house is loaded. Oh it's my God. Oh, it was obsessive compulsive on my part. And I had dots all You know what? It, it was driving me crazy. I started off with three because I have a wide house. So I figured three would be ample. Then I started noticing there was a seam. There was a seam where the lights got fat. Those little dots got really, really? fat and wide. And then some of the dots were really skinny and dot-like. So I said, no, 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 no. This will never do. So I went out and I added. I added more lights. So everybody would be like the same size. And I started getting compulsive. So when it was all said and done, I bought 11. I had bought the last one 
in all the, the all the Christmas tree stores, all the shops. I couldn't find any more. I was everywhere with them. I even called my 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 sister in in Staten Island to look for the lights for me because I was wow. I exhausted all of New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, I ended up getting the last one in Staten Island. Unbelievable. And then I put eleven of them and. I had extension cords all over the place. And do you remember everybody was tripping on my extension cords last no, year? No, I don't. I didn't running over see. them with the cars and tripping over them. And oh my gosh, my dogs were getting caught up in them. It was crazy. So uh, wait, I, I want to I want to give somebody a really good idea for everybody who all you uh, mothers out there or people who do the holidays. My mom came up with a super super great idea. Uh, for that when our family got together, not just during the holidays, but for birthdays and everything, because as she was getting older, it was just getting much more difficult. Yeah. So she created a, a grab bag of chores. So as soon as you walked into my mom's house, when there was a big party going on, everyone would reach into a grab bag and pick oh. out a piece of paper. And on the paper, it would say, oh, you're going to help serve the main course. You're going to, and then the other paper would say, you're going to help throw out the garbage. You're going to help serve the dessert. You're going to help clear the table. What an each, ingenious idea. I each, love your mother. Yeah, each piece of paper had a different chore so that everybody was chipping in and you didn't have one or two people doing all the work. And yeah. another one said, you're going to help do the dishes. You're going to help dry the dishes. You're going to have a... So every, everybody was doing their piece. That's and, phenomenal. And you're not allowed to give up a chore and say, oh, don't worry. You, you just sit there and I'll take care. No. no. There's no cheating. Right. Everyone's responsible. How sweet. And everyone kicks in. And that so, yeah. That is a lovely idea. And I guess so, what? I am going to follow your mom. Oh, good. His mother has the greatest ideas. I really mean it. She's very innovative. It's amazing. Right. So I'm going to honor your mother this year. Oh, thank you. And yeah. I am going to make a really cute little like a little uh, grab bag, uh -huh. like you said. And they think they're getting presents instead exactly. of Exactly. What is it? I didn't sign up for this. <laughs> oh, yes, you did. Welcome. Here, I take something. <laughs> yeah, that's a really cute idea. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put them, all of them, all these little chores in a white envelope, and I'm going to get a small little candy cane, and I'm going to tape a candy cane on each one of the chores. Oh, that's good. Yes. And then they'll open up their envelope. They'll take their little candy cane. Thinking then, that they're yes, getting a present. Yes, and then they're going to yes. be giving the... She is giving to them. She's giving the gift of giving. That's right. They're going to be giving the gift of giving. That's I my gift. My gift it. to you is what you're giving to me. Your mother is the bomb. I'll oh, my you. God. That is a phenomenal idea. Yes, I will be honoring your mom this oh, year. Oh, thank you. You're very Thank welcome. you very much. That's very thoughtful. She's a genius. So again, um, so if you started to, you know, give like gift certificates to your, you know, people's favorite stores and stuff like that, uh, it would take a lot of pressure off of you. And also with adults doing grab bags instead of everybody having to buy everybody everything, right. you know, you know, you do something special for your, for your partner, for your spouse, whoever, yes. you know, that's different. But when it comes to the overall general family, grab bag is the way to go. You know, with kids, you know, everyone gets the kids a little something. Yes. You know, it's a which different would, boat. It's totally different. They, you know. they have to have it. But don't it, – it, it's not right to stress yourself out no. uh, financially, trying to keep up with everyone else's demands and stuff. Um, you know, my sister – not to cut Hold on short. two seconds. Yes. There's somebody – you know, if you know somebody, if yes. you know someone who really, you know, is not – you know, doesn't have family to go to or – don't don't be afraid to reach out to someone to allow them to come to your home and to be a part of your family. Yes, you know? definitely. That's so, what it's all about, right, really. Right. It's all about allowing other people because a lot of times our family is our friends. And unfortunately, yes. a lot of us, we don't get along with our families, yes. certain family members. True. So, you know, you got to kind of, you know, take. give and take. And you reach out to your friends uh, or other family members who really don't have much of a family and you invite them, you know, try to be a little more open minded and you know what, just extend the invitation. Don't force them Just say you're more than welcome. Cause some people they're just, it's just their mood, but just to know that you thought of them means the world. So, you know, folks, I think what Artie is saying is this is the season to extend your hand in love and friendship. It's not about the monetary gift. It's not about how big your present is compared to someone else. What it's all about is the generosity of nature, of heart, of spirit. 
So your gift means nothing but your hand extended to somebody in need or somebody that's alone means everything. It means more than the most expensive gift. It's the gesture. It's the gesture, the gesture of love, from where it's coming from. All right, everybody, listen up. Uh, have a wonderful week. From my yes. mouth to God's ears, may God bless all of you with lots of love, health, happiness, and prosperity. Ditto. And always, always, always ask God and the angels for whatever it is you want. They're always listening. Yes. So just be patient with them. And I'm telling you, they're going to pull through. And until next week. Goodbye, folks. Thanks for listening. Stay well. You've been listening to Angels and Answers Psychic Radio Show with Clairvoyance Artie Hoffman and Sky Siegel. Tune in every Thursday for this great two-hour show at 2 p.m. Pacific and 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And remember to call in at 800-930-2819 to get answers from your guardian angels and loved ones. Artie and Sky have helped thousands of people with remarkable accuracy as they tune in, use their intuitive gifts and inner guidance, and communicate with people's angels and loved ones who have passed on. To schedule your session, call Artie at 877-ANGEL-02 and visit ArtieHoffman.com and call Sky at 908-500-1474 and visit SkyOfAngels.com for personal or group readings. And tune in next week for this fabulous hit show.